Hi and welcome. So after the first video, this is the second video about work. And at this point, we will be applying the information such as equation that we learned from the previous video into solving work problem that we have over here. So we have three examples. And again, a copy of this document is in the description below. So you, if you have access to printers, you can print it out and write down the information as we as I go over the problems. So first example is that you pulled your sled through a snow a distance of 500 meters with a force of 2000 newtons. How much did you, how much work did you do? So the question is how much work did you do? So therefore we are solving for work. So we want to figure out what W is. So we go back to the notes we have earlier. So we're basically trying to solve for work. So we want to know what is work. So let's use the first row of our equation or table. So using that information, again, let's get back to the table. We need to know that there is force, there is distance, and we will use the same equation, which is work equals force times D. So I will write down the equation. Work is force multiplied by the distance. So as we continue reading, as we go back, we have 500 and meters. While the second number that we have here is 200 newtons. So if we go back to the previous notes from the earlier video, it says meters. So we take a look, that's units of meters. So meters is basically our distance. So that value of 500 meters is our distance D. And our newtons, if we go back to our table again, from previous note, that's newtons, so that means that is our force. So force. And also from the same notes that we have, in order for us to solve for work, we must know our force, we must know our distance. In our case, in this problem, we have already identified that 500 meters is our distance, while force is 200 newtons. So basically, this problem is a direct plug-in of the value of 500 meters multiplied by 200 newtons or let me correct myself it's supposed to be it is supposed to be 200 newtons because force f is newton so we should multiply it first and then plug in the value of 500 meters however if you multiply it 500 times 200 it doesn't really matter because of the commutative property of multiplication so you multiply 200 by 500 or 500 by mul by 200 will give us the same answer so in our case we have how many zeros 0 1 2 and 3 4 10 so therefore we have 100,000 joules so that will be our answer so for question number 1 it's 100,000 joules this is our final answer, 100,000 joules. Now for the second example, how much work is done? Okay, so again, how much work? So the question is, how much work is done? So it's asking a question, how much work is done? So we are solving for work, again, from the previous example that we solved, we can write down the equation, which is work is equivalent to force times distance. Now let's continue reading the problem to see what is the question all about. So we have 10 Newton block that is lifted 5 meters off the ground by a pulley. Hmm. This is a little bit more interesting because it will be better for us to draw it first. So let's say we have the ground and we have the object and you're lifting this object to a certain height 
of five meters. So basically, you are lifting this object to a distance of five meters or height of five meters. And basically, the the weight, okay, the weight or the force of gravity is ten newtons. So ten meters or five meters is equivalent to your distance, your vertical distance, not your horizontal distance. And force of of gravity is basically ten newtons. Okay, so force of gravity that's the weight. And if you notice that the direction of your force of gravity is downwards, so it means that the distance and at the same time the direction of force is in the same axis or they're moving at the same direction or both of them are in the same direction. So therefore, we can actually use and apply this equation in order for us to solve for the amount of work. So again, what is the unit of force? That is Newton. So that will give us 10 Newtons multiplied by the distance of 5 meters. So our work is basically 50 joules. So that is your example question number two. Now let us proceed with, okay, let us proceed with question number three. Okay. A woman lifts a 100 Newton daughter up to one meter and carries her a distance of 50 meters to her bedroom. How much work does the woman Okay, so we are being asked to solve for work. How much work? So we are actually solving for work. And just like the previous examples we have, work is force times distance. So you multiply the applied force to your distance. So let us draw this example first. So assuming that this is the floor and the dot represents the daughter and the daughter would have a force of gravity that is equivalent to 100 newtons. So the daughter is being lifted at a height of one meter so it's being lifted at the height of one meter okay. one meter which is our height let me just call it height and then move to a distance of 50 meters so this is 50 meters so this will be our displacement along the x-axis okay so let's just say delta x so now some of you might be tempted to say that the total distance moved is 51 because that's one meter plus 50 so that will give us 51 however look at the definition of work work is basically the product of the force and distance along the same axis or if they're on the same direction so in our case force of gravity is going down the height of one meter is going up and they're on the same axis however force of gravity and 50 meters are not in the same axis they're not parallel with each other instead they're perpendicular so this distance over here does not affect our solution to this question we are just trying to figure out how much work so the only work did is to lift the daughter or the mother or the woman lifting the lifting her daughter to a height of one meter and displacing it to 50 meters doesn't count as part of the work so simple arithmetic would tell us that your force of 100 newtons again you multiply it by the height where it's being played where it's being raised so that's one meter so that's 100 times 1 that will give us 100 newton per uh, newton meter or also known as joules so here's the equation or here's the question here's the examples that you can actually use to apply our knowledge on work hope it will help you